upon this period poem, well, I was looking for period examples of acrostic praise poems, which this is not, but it is so much fun that I saved it, and it is I think it's very suitable here. It was written by somebody you don't normally consider with, you know, think of as a poet, uh, Michelangelo Buonarroti. Oh, really? And it is a five-verse gripe <laughs> about what a pain in the patoot it is to spend four or five years of your life in a high up in a drafty chapel lying flat on your back while you were trying to paint something that's inches away from your face. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, and I think what I found was a translation of the original in, made in the, in the 19th century by somebody named John Addington Simons. Ah. How posh. <laughs> I've grown a goiter dwelling in this den as cats from stagnant streams in Lombardy or from whatever land they have to be, which drives my belly close beneath my chin. My beard turns up to heaven. My nape falls in, fixed on my spine. My breastbone visibly grows like a harp. A rich embroidery bedews my face from brush strips thick and thin. My loins into my paunch like levers grind. My buttock like a crupper bears my weight. My feet unguided wander to and fro. In front my skin grows loose and long. Behind, by bending, it becomes more taut and straight. Mm -hmm. Crosswise, I strain me like a Syrian bow. Whence false and quaint, I know, yes, truly know, must be the fruit of squinting eye and brain. For ill can aim the gun that bends her eye. Come then, good friend Giovanni, come and try to care for my dead pictures and my fame, since foul I fare and painting is my shame. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>